Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. So I'm out in the shop, we just put tires on the Corolla. And I noticed a problem with this thing, and I'm going to show you what's going on here. And it's just something to look for when you have tires mounted at a tire store. Or in my case, I had these tires mounted in the same place I buy groceries, which is probably part of the problem. Alright, so we had tires mounted on the back of the Corolla. And see if you can spot the mistake that the installer made. Do you see it yet? Okay, so here's the scoop. When rims are made, the technician that's building the rim, when they're spinning this rim up to check the balance of it, just by tolerance, it's not going to be perfectly round. There's going to be a high spot and a low spot as they spin this thing up, indexed by the center hub. And wherever the high spot on the rim is, is where they'll drill the hole for the tire stem. They figure this is the high spot, this is going to be the heaviest part of the wheel, so we'll drill the hole for the tire stem right there. That makes it a little bit lighter. Maybe it'll balance out a little better if they do that. So on every rim ever made, where the high spot is, is where the, the hole's drilled for the tire stem. Likewise, when tire manufacturers make tires, as they're spinning the carcass of the tire up after it's manufactured, there's going to be a high spot and a low spot on the tire. And in this case, they'll put a dot where the low spot of the tire is. And the tire installer is supposed to match up that low spot on the tire with the high spot on the wheel. So that dot should be right above that stem. And clearly the installer in this case was either too lazy or just didn't realize that little tidbit of information. Let's see if they did the other side correctly. So this on this side they got it right. But on the other side, they didn't. So I don't know if the other side was just a fluke. Maybe maybe he was 10 minutes late for lunch. I don't know what's going on, but one side's right. The other side is wrong. And now, these tires don't shake, thankfully, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it's just something you should be aware of. And if you see that from your favorite tire store on a re repeating basis, you probably shouldn't shop there. You guys have a good New Year's.